so this is a, uh, a test uh, to, to see how this is going to function for us, and uh, especially because we want to be able to post links or whatever so that people can see it and determine how we're going to set privacy settings, that kind of thing. Um, and uh, so thank you for tuning in. <laughs> anyway, uh, Elizabeth, um, uh, some have asked, today I had a nice conversation with one of my cousins, and I've had, in fact, conversations with three of my cousins in probably the last 12 hours. But um, they've asked, uh, how, when did we know that, that Elizabeth's decline was so precipitous? When did, you know, because we've been struggling with cancer for two years, you know. But um, I, I think that uh, it, it probably not until Monday did I realize that, that, it, that, that it was, that she was not likely to pull out of this. And it was because of the myotonic dystrophy, not just the cancer. Now, the cancer alone is never the issue. And in fact, I think that we haven't seen a death certificate yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if the death, her father's death certificate said malnutrition because the myotonia, uh, I don't know how much of me you can see, but it stops you up, it stops up gut motility and it stops the pyloric sphincter and so nothing will move through here and it, and it just causes havoc in your entire system. So if you're, if you're fighting something like cancer and you need all of your resources, well, they get depleted and, and, it, and so the double whammy and then that's that. But um, uh, we really, it was just only uh, t about three weeks ago, I'm losing track of time a little bit, but about three weeks ago, she, <clears throat> since, since last March, she had no feeling, no sensation here, completely numb here, and all numb in her face from the, where the tumor was, and it was smaller at the time. But um, uh, we started the salicinium in, um, in um, uh, May, around May 12th, and about three weeks ago, the, all the sensation came back in her cheek, in her ear. She could feel. She said, she said one morning, she said, I think I'm getting my feeling back. And then by that evening, she said, yes, for sure. And the next day, she, it still was there. So uh, we felt as though we had the cancer on the run and that we were beating it um, as, as recently as three weeks ago. But the, the myotonia is, has devastating effects. She has um, cousins uh, uh, who, who uh, by 50 were in wheelchairs and by 60 were deceased. Um, it, it is a family matter. It's a, it's a hereditary thing. You only get it by hereditary. About the flip of the coin, about usually about half of it, of, of offspring of someone who has it, get it. And, and you have the children before you, oftentimes before you realize that this is a problem for you. Ooh. If people didn't have a, 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 a Facebook support groups over myotonia, and and, uh, and you know and didn't and didn't have the, a way to communicate as broadly and vastly as we do now, so that um, uh, uh, they might have heard that there is such a thing in the family and not realized what the consequences would be. So they have children, and the children have a fifty percent chance of getting it. I'll tell you, if you have if you wrestle with this, there's a very good fa uh, group on Facebook of um, a support group of those who are re wrestling with it, and um, you can find out a lot from them. But uh, uh, it, it was just too much for Elizabeth, and, and uh, she's gone. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, it, we are going to set this up. Uh, uh, Larry Gerlay is going to uh, speak at the at visitation, at the end of the visitation session tomorrow. The visitation session will be from 6 to 8 at the Rush Buckner Funeral Home. They handle Elizabeth's cremation. Uh, I, I uh, worked and assisted with that. It was a very strange thing, but... Uh, but um, I had done so much with her, everything with her, everything <coughs> with her body. And, uh, and, I, and it was impossible for me to also not, uh, to just leave things nebulous. Uh, it would happen a little quicker than I thought. I mean, they, they, they handled that right away, but, um, but that's okay. It, 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 uh, she was deceased. I mean, yeah, I know and I understand some, some groups, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jews, for instance, typically, uh, do do uh, 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 and and uh, and uh, uh, our the, the Middle East that area it seems like the the, the the burial or funeral or whatever is that day you know and it's like and 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 um and uh, and I understand why because that's that's when they die and uh, uh, so really within 24 hours or so she was she was um that was taken uh, probably about 36 hours no it was less than that it was within 24 hours that was taken care of. Yeah, and then there was a few more hours before everything. Uh, uh, Larry Grolet will speak at the end of visitation, which is tomorrow. I don't know that we'll 
how much they'll be shown about visitation, whether some people might be able to speak to you and might want to. I would love that. I mean, if, if, if people wanted to say a word or two of what they knew about Liz there, that would be really lovely because then I would be able to, because I won't get a chance to visit with everybody. There might be more, well, I don't know, maybe I will, maybe there will only be three people. But if there's a few people, there are more, too many, then having it taped for that would be nice and I could look back at it. <clears throat> I don't know how, <clears throat> any rate. Uh, and then Larry is going to speak a, a, a couple of words formally at the end of that. But the, the, the um, uh, um, we call it a memorial talk, a funeral talk. But we would call it a memorial talk at, at the Kingdom Hall. It will be, uh, will be on Friday at 5 o'clock, uh, and that will be handled by M Marty Cross. Elizabeth specifically requested that Marty Cross give her memorial talk um, to, on three occasions, um, twice since she had cancer and once not more than a month and a half or so ago. And, um, and so that... that uh, uh, um, I guess that's what you need to know. Uh, Eastern Standard. Somebody asks, is that Eastern Standard Time? Yes, that's Eastern Time. Eastern, whatever. Are we still on daylight savings? We're over that. I think we got our extra hour back. I think we're, but at any rate, the time, it is Eastern Time. Um, uh, from 6 to 8 tomorrow, and especially from 7.30 to 8. But I think we'll be broadcasting that whole time so that people can uh, share. And then from at five, from 5 to about 5.30, it'll only be about half an hour funeral talk on on Friday, um, and that'll be a little bit more of a formal um, thing. And I don't know whether they'll bring the camera back to the house afterward, but essentially everybody who's, who, who is inclined is uh, we're preparing the house. Elizabeth would appreciate that. Uh, she, <clears throat> 20 months, you know, it's been 20 months since she's been able to clean, you know, or anything like that. So, um, uh, so we have friends who have come um, and spent the week uh, and as a, a, a couple with two daughters grown up enough to work hard and they've been really diligent and the, uh, they worked on uh, and, and done some maintenance around the place. A, a sink broke. Liz was using to pull herself up. And it, uh, so they replaced the sink, you know, and, and um, so a lot of things like that that I couldn't get to. I can't put into words what the support means at that moment, this moment. Anyway, so they've been helping and, and, and they're prepping the house uh, for 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 hopefully uh, guests who will come to to um, uh, 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 because it's good to eat and associate together because that's part of putting the uh, matter behind the, the the memorial has taken place the, the, the conversation on the on the death itself has taken place right, we got to eat and we gotta, and we got to and we got to live and we got to move on to and so that's the um, uh, 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 plan and expectation mm -hmm. and the arrangements with regards to events between now and, oh, let's say, um, late <laughs> sundown on Friday. Mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in. And, and, uh, and we don't know what we're going to have, whether we're going to be able to put, um, uh, you know, a link, you know, Q2XRZ1125, you know, how those links look for YouTube or, or something, or whether or not, or, or but, but, we're, but we're going to use these words, uh, um, Liz Elizabeth Johansson Youngdahl, L I Z E L I Z A B E T H J O H A N S E N Y O U N G D A H L. Um, and then uh, uh, visitation, funeral, memorial, w those words. And so any combination of those words should bring this up to the top of your search results. And, um, and uh, then afterward, we'll, we'll, make, we'll, 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 we'll handle it. Maybe a different way because we'll probably archive it so that it could be looked at at another time. But primarily, the purpose is we've got friends and family. Ah, oh, Jan. There's a lot of family. <clears throat> but there's people who just can't make it, who had surgery recently and, 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 uh, and are just uh, 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 have uh, all kinds of different reasons. And it's, that's, that's life too. Uh, and um, so they, they uh, uh, this will give them an opportunity to feel as though they're a party to it and and um, and, and express and, and we're planning on leaving comments because uh, I don't think that'll be any problem um, and and um, so then you'll also be able to share with each other and and uh, um, I guess that's enough to be said for now.